City of Tucson, Mr. Jonathan Rothschild. Oh, good afternoon, and thank you for inviting me to be here today to help you celebrate Juneteenth in Tucson. Yesterday was the 150th anniversary of Juneteenth, the day when freedom came to the slaves of Texas, or I should say the people there were notified two and a half years after they had officially and legally been freed by the Emancipation Proclamation. Yeah, June 19, 1865 was a day when the United States of America finally told all of its people that they had the legal right to live equally. In the last 150 years, we have seen a lot of transformation. Civil Rights Act in 1964 and 1968, the Voting Rights Act in 1965. Sometimes when we look back this week, it's hard to envision the progress we've made. But those were significant pieces of legislation that prohibited, legally, discrimination. Pioneers like Dr. Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Thurgood Marshall helped change the course of history, paving the way for equal rights. And in 2008, we elected the first African American president of the United States, Barack Obama. Now today's headlines leave us questioning and in despair about the progress that has been made. Recent events in Washington and South Carolina are deeply, deeply troubling. And while we cannot minimize the harm that has been done, we also cannot and should not paint the people of this country in broad stripes. One or two individuals do not and will not define us. We must continue to acknowledge the progress that has been made. Yes, there is much, much work to be done, but coming together as a community like we do today to remember this day, which is an American holiday, we will get it done. <laughs> together, we will stand in unity regardless of race and continue the positive changes that started 150 years ago. As Ron said, this Juneteenth is particularly poignant as it marks the passing of Bernie Sparks. We all know Bernie was a strong advocate for African Americans and youth in our community. He was a great supporter of these festivities. Probably more important to each one of us here, who my voice is reaching, and I know to me, Bernie was a friend. Bernie was the kind of person that when you met him, you knew he would stand beside you, you knew you could count on him. And every time we lose someone like Bernie, our community suffers a great loss. But every time we lose someone like Bernie, two more of us have to stand up and say, we'll carry on, we'll carry on that idea. What I do know, though, is that Bernie is joining us today in spirit, and Bernie will be remembered and missed for as long as we all live. And with that, I have a proclamation to read from the city of Tucson. It goes like this. Whereas the United States of America was founded on the principles of freedom and justice for all, and the Civil War was fought to ensure that freedom was shared by all. And where Gord General Gordon Granger read his third general order in Galveston, Texas, bringing freedom to the last of the slaves in Texas on June 19, 1865, two and a half years after the effective day of the Emancipation Proclamation. And whereas Juneteenth represents a very important milestone in American history when our nation finally and truly declared that it would become the land of the free. 
And whereas many communities throughout the nation and across Arizona come together to celebrate Juneteenth as a day of freedom and to enjoy a spirit of peace, respect, and understanding. And whereas the late Bernie Starks was involved in Tucson's Juneteenth celebrations for more than 30 years and was president of the 2015 Juneteenth Committee, and Bernie Starks served on the board of many local community and youth service organizations and received numerous awards for his service. Therefore, Tucson's 215 Juneteenth celebration is in fond remembrance of Bernie Starks, and I now by proclaim as Mayor of Tucson, June 20th, 215, to be Juneteenth, America's second day of independence in this community, and encourage all of our citizens to celebrate Juneteenth in the city and remember the many contributions of Bernie Starks. Where I put my hand and seal this 20th day of June, 2015. Thank you.